We're busy on a campus tour. There's the jet behind us. We're down by Tutor Building. I have never been into Scienza, even though I've been at the Varsity for a year and a half now. Uh, I believe it's similar to the ones in Joburg, where there's a whole lot of hands-on learning experience for science. And what is that skeleton of? Is that a rhino? That is awesome. I'm such a fan. Ebert week been? That's good. What's been your favorite department so far? Nice. Look, it's me. If you haven't had enough niches in the vlog, then here you go. Um, I'm feeling quite exhausted. We've had a long day today. Tomorrow the guys are going off to industry visits. So we're all going to different places. Uh, some guys are going to CSR, some guys are going to construction sites, all different places, um, depending on which, which course and faculty they were the most interested in. I don't know where I'm going yet tomorrow. But it's going to be a good day, it's going to be another long day, but tomorrow uh, evening we're finished and I'm going home. Can't wait to sleep and start my class assignment because it's really been stressing me out. Uh, but yeah, all's going well. I'm going to pop back out and see what's happening here. My group is here. We start, stopped outside of large chemistry to fill in some surveys with this good Wi-Fi signal. Everyone is finished. Mans are exhausted. Can't stand anymore. We're going back to res now for free time and that and we're having a bride tonight with everyone. It's gonna be good fun. I will see you gents later. How are you guys doing? Yes, Chris Boy. Leading. Leading. Having a lack of campus tour? Good stuff. Seeing stuff I've honestly never knew even existed. I know, right? Like today was the first time I went to Scienza. Yeah, apparently there's a space on campus where you can see like the entirety of campus through mirrors or something. And there's also an echo, you know about IT? Yeah. There's also an echo place where if you stand... Have you never heard of the echo I've place? Never, I've never honestly heard of the echo These place. These guys know about the echo place now. Yeah. Awesome. Apparently I'm less educated than a lot of these learners over here. So I've been <laughs> up in my University of Victoria knowledge game. Good stuff, good stuff. And I'm actually so more, I'm so much more motivated to study my own degree now. I was feeling shit after the semester test last week, and now I'm keen. Now I actually, I feel like doing well in maths after visiting all the chem -Eng labs yesterday. Have you told them about the electrical experiments or not? I haven't, I haven't, to tell. There's some really dope stuff in the electrical labs downstairs where they've got something um, known as magnetic levitation. Oh yeah, I so, saw it, it was how dope. I, I've got footage, it, look here. Yeah, it's crazy. He's going to show you the magnetic levitation now. <laughs> I hope that works. Um, basically, there's a magnetic rail, and they can control just how much it sits above the um, board sits above the rail through various electronic circuits and whatnot. I know. I find it so interesting. And also, did you see the big, um, like the the bicycle gear thing? Which was that? The the one with the three phases. Oh, the three phases. Where it's, where it's like a reverse motor and actually turns the outer part of the wheel, not the inner part of the motor. Turns. Mm. He said this is how Teslas work. How Tesla wheels work. Yeah, and Tesla. There was actually an issue with it with stability, and Tesla yes, actually came yeah. up. Um, they that guy was so the, slim, I learned so much. Yeah, they, they improved the stability of those motors, um, which shook quite, quite a bit in between their movements by adding extra permanent magnets. So, yeah, Tesla's really on the... Good the, stuff, the good stuff, Matt, of computer engineers approved. Yes! Shine on me. Yes, boy, we got a bride going, it's going really well. My boys here are doing a great job. Good morning, it's um, quarter to five, we're up at a ridiculous hour. How many hours of sleep did we get, Chris Boy? Not nearly enough, but something like three point little. Three and a half hours. Solid. We're checking everyone out of the rows in the next hour, which is going to go fantastically. Um, <laughs> it's going to go, it's going to be chaos. And then we're going up to industry today, so each uh, of the kids that signed up for Ebert Week picked an industry today that they want to go see more of and uh, potentially go work in one day. So I'm going with the material science kids, there's only two of them, and a whole lot of people are going to mechanical and chemical. Um, I'm actually going to a company today, we're going to catch a bus and go to a company, and I don't know what the day holds, I don't know what we're going to be doing, I don't know what we're going to be seeing, but it's going to be interesting, going to learn something, and come back here this afternoon, check all these kids out, and go home. I'm so excited to sleep. And start my class assignment, but like that. 
So Chris and I are here. We are busy. It's 25 minutes past five. We're organizing bags and pillows and stuff. Shit is real. Good stuff. Oh no, I mean, things are going well. So my group and I are at Sappy this morning, the paper industry for our industry visit. He gave us this really cool uh, goggles now that we're going to wear. We're going to look through the labs. I'm pretty sure one is not supposed to wear shorts to highly contaminable chemical labs, but it shall all be good. I'm trying to sleep all night I look on a clock, it's midnight Oh yeah, so I'm just uh, chilling out with Chris and the rest of the uh, Ibadweek team We are, are finished, the kids have all gone home We've got a smashing success We're all exhausted though, I don't know if you can see there but there's some hardcore napping going on in that corner um, We're finished, Chris how's that sandwich? Ten out of ten, apparently. Yeah, I'm gonna catch the car train home later once we've did our last bit of talking and cleaning up, and once uh, the last kids have gone home. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How are you, bro? Hello. How are you? I'm tired. How are you? Good. Tired. Oh yeah. So uh, Ebert week is done. We just had our last um, chat and debrief for the week. I'm heading back to village to drop off my bike and then the car train and car train bus home. It's gonna be a good one. I've got all my luggage with me, but I'm excited to go home and sleep. Start grafting tomorrow, because uh, cars assignment and uh, DC motor and JCP reflective stuff doesn't wait for no man. And yeah, I'm walking home now. I really did actually have a lack of week. I uh, finished my JCP project. I really learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot more about my course uh, and definitely reaffirmed my motivation and desire to study engineering. Yeah, problem solving skills of teachers, the opportunities in the world that opens, and just how interesting and um, almost cathartic it is to be working on hard problems that the world needs solutions to. Uh, I really, really enjoy that. So, Catherine Station, no more talking. Thanks for watching. I'll check you in the next one. We return to our regular programming of me having more than three hours of sleep a night. All right, bye. What to do I know that I just need you